this isn't enough to satisfy me. Just imagine a huge battlefield of Gundams, and there's this one just going. <laughs> 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 I gotta go somewhere now. Sorry, I'm busy. <laughs> hey, Ardomon. What's up, buddy? Let's fight like gentlemen. Uh... What? Oh, can you convince me that one disciple is enough for the school of Master Asia? Don't get caught. Shit. Uh oh. Domon is actually fucking my shit up. No. Oh. He's actually got like a beam saber and shit. He and pushed you into that, uh, that yeah, health. Yeah, and picked up the health, so now he's fucked. No one can defeat Master Asia! But he's trying. My god, is he trying. He wants a piece. Ooh, man. Oh, shit, man. I am in, actually, a really bad spot right now. This crowd isn't helping. No. Oh my god. I uh oh. He don't want to actually win this. Ah, Buster Asia angry. Well, he healed. Yeah. Here we go. Ooh, uh, ooh, uh, ooh. Oh shit, he didn't man laugh maniacally after that. I thought he was supposed to. He's just crazy and I fucking love it, but like, I'm not showing off the cool shit. It makes me sad. And there's Camille freaking out, as always. Wow, that's the complete opposite job of what you just were? What? Quits robots becomes a dentist. What the fuck? I did I miss a bit of conversation that Spirit Tombs have in there? Or Apparently. All right. Fuck. All right. I'm gonna go try to finish this mission. I gotta head straight down to fight uh, Musha Gundam before any of them on my, on my party dies. Run, Master Asia, run! Oh, Domon's voice actor is a doctor. Oh, okay, now it makes a lot more sense. Dentist. Oh, dentist, sorry. Oh, that works. Master Asia has leveled up. His ego is much bigger now. <laughs> I kind of did pretty much. You can't beat the Asia, says Blue Knight. There's Jared just kind of hanging out. Getting Gundams rained down on him. Or sorry, mobile suits. Camille's- oh god, fucking Camille. Where is he? There he is. He's the best I've ever seen. I'm here to help, guys! <laughs> I'm a man's name! My name's Camille! Camille Madon, I'm so insecure. <laughs> Come on, hurry up, you fool! Oh, uh, Oh, 
There we go. If I keep doing the same thing over and over, it'll kill everyone. <laughs> Pretty much the way Dynasty Warriors works, though, isn't it? Pretty much. Also, I'm the undefeated of these. Why is this door not opening? This door is supposed to be opening right now. Maybe you can there we go. The rear. I had to wait for the uh, pop-ups to catch up, basically. Oh, okay. All right, let's find. Oh no, I gotta kill all these guys first. Yep, you sure did kill all the enemies, hero. You're doing a great job. <laughs> Camille's a man's name, and I'm a man. <laughs> oh, Camille. Well, Hero Miliardo probably gonna have a conversation in a minute. Uh, what is this? This is attack up. Okay, cool. I think that the design of, like, the Musha Gundam is actually pretty sweet, but it's basically just a giant samurai robot. I'm also just not, I'm not entirely surprised that they went with that, because it makes sense. Dynasty Warriors, Samurai Warriors, all that jazz. So is that one, is that Musha one just, like, for this game, just to kind of drive it? As far as I'm aware of, yeah. Although it kind of looks like something that could have been in G Gundam. But, like, it, the idea is that it's a sentient AI mobile suit, so no one's controlling the uh, the Musha Gundam. Oh. There we go. Musha Gundam's deployed. Bum, bum, bum. Just look at how sweet that looks, man. You are weak. <laughs> oh my god, whoa. It's also gonna fuck my shit up, unfortunately. Like a spear and he's got armor he's got shoulder pads he's he's kind of a pain in the ass to fight up close I will grab your stick oh, this... the times two was helping a shit ton though uh oh now he's turning yeah. around on me Uh oh, get out of there, Master Asia! Master A! Look how much fucking damage he's doing right now. Oh. Clash! Uh oh, uh oh. Oh shit! So while I'm in the red, I get unlimited, I get my supers will just slowly be recharging. And it's gonna be more powerful each time I use it, but the same applies to him! Oh my god! You're taking big risk when you do this. I believe in you. Got him. Nice. The power of Asia, of <laughs> the power of the Asia, is strong in this one. <laughs> so you survived. Oh, but that uh, that pose though. Yeah. Look at that, that's the one you want right there, look at that. That's a beautiful <laughs> Gundam pose. Can all Gundams do that, please? How about that? The kid is Can we make a Gundam Ginyu Force? Case, it looks like we're not leaving this planet anytime soon. <laughs> John, don't believe in yourself. Believe in the chat that believes in you. Master, Master Asia, football star. So we killed about, uh, you know, 578 people. Killed that eight aces. So we got, uh, that's my experience I just gained right now. Which means Master Asia is now level eight. But the Master Gundam's up to level four. Which means I learned my level two super as well now. Perfect. Yay. I earned a firing program, Gundarium. Okay, Gundarium alloy and linear suspension. 
So I can upgrade my defense by one, my shot by five, or my armor by 32. I think I know which one I'd prefer. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. This. Asia. <laughs> Your master Asia is the master Asia that'll pierce the heavens. All right. Uh, I'm going to show off how different Hero is in comparison. I'll kill you. Also, he'll kill you. Oh, right! Oh, okay. When you beat the story mode, you unlock the ability to pick whatever mobile suit you want. So... But, like, the levels are dependent per character, so... That's why I only use Wing Zero, because fuck using any other character. But I mean, there's there's Musha Gundam unlocked too, so. Ooh. Let's. For shits and giggles, jump to Ice Field, anyways. Because it still has Master Asia in it. And that's what's most important. Exactly. Have you heard the rumor about this planet here? They say the one who conquers this planet shall attain the power to make anything possible. Of course, no such power exists. However, the people of this planet continue to fight. Even if it isn't about the power, there must be something to be gained. What does that have to do with my mission? This planet is a giant weapon for the doll we defeated underground. That must be the so-called power. The one who conquers this planet must gain control of that. Control enough to stop the planet. Your information is not reliable. So, a task such as that shouldn't Master take Asia much time created a master Europe. Together. It's <laughs> worth trying. I do not accept your orders. Right All right. The Titans are in position. We're ready to attack. Let them take care of the chaff. We'll take out the enemy's main force. Our time shall come, Camille. I won't leave this planet until I've destroyed you. Jared doesn't like Camille. All right. So I'm just going to show off. We're not actually going to do the whole mission, but... Zero. Show me the way. So now here's a stark contrast to Master Gundam to this. First off, airplane. Enemies confirmed. One warship and a small force of pilots. Mission: exterminate all enemies. I'll cover the troops as they drop. Second. I'm your lifeline. Oh, hang on. The count doesn't dare come to I got the buster I can use. A victory is Third. Giant beam cannon, giant beam cannon, and for shits and giggles, giant beam cannon. So you can see why Wing Zero is kind of awesome. And that's really all I needed to show off. But, you know, Master Asia still. So if you get Master Asia in the Wing Zero, then you're, you're fucking done. You're made. So yeah, uh, if if you start playing this game for any reason, probably start with Wing Zero. Hero immediately plays better than Master Asia because of that air game. <laughs> I'm sorry, John. I feel like there's not enough giant beam cannon in that demonstration. Fair enough. And they nerfed that to hell in 2 and 3. That's three separate specials. Ground, air, team, respectively. Ah, oh, that sucks. Play some Burning Gundam. We're going to go to Q&A for now. And the A stands for Master Asia. Um, actually, I'm going to look up something here before we jump off. We're going to do Q&A. Uh, we'll wait for Elliot to come back. I'm going to show you some Master Asia clips. Master Asia being awesome. I think that's what it was called. 
once again here. Oh no, actually that's the one. I think I think Quinn's got it. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, this is it. Alright. Hang on. Let me just get this in da -da -da -da. Come on. Give me a sec. I'll get I'll switch to desktop cam for this. Once it catches up, holy crap, what is taking so long? YouTube, you're being awesome today. Thanks so much. Nice. Oh, you're beautiful. All answers are Master Asia. Why am I not getting... What? YouTube, what the fuck? Hang on. I hate it when this shit happens. Just when I wanted to show off something cool. Fuck. John will provide us with Asia to our questions. I'm going to show off this clip, then we're going to do Q&A. So once I've shown off this clip, feel free to send in your questions. I'll answer them, so we'll make a G-Wolf once he gets back. If he's not, like, eating breakfast now or something. This will probably work. This better work. I'll be... It's not working. That's weird. Hello. Hello. Ugh. I have an awesome clip I want to show, but for some reason I am not getting any audio on YouTube at all, which means my flash is probably about to crash. Hmm. Maybe Asia is just too much. Apparently. That's what I'm trying to show off. It's like the best part. <laughs> John, oh, yeah. John, you fool. You've been showing us something cool this whole time. This stream. Oh. No, Master Asia. <laughs> this stream's Sorry. a total waste. <laughs> ah, fuck, it's the best fucking part of G Gundam. God damn it. <laughs> Am I guess. still awake? And Willpower! That's, that's a legit question, to be fair. Yeah, why am I not getting any audio on this Super Asia clip? I've been draining for the last hour, but I thought since we were near the end, I thought I'd powerhouse it. Yeah, it looks like everything's kind of fucked. Yay, everything broke! Thanks, Flash. Appreciate it. I didn't want to get anything productive done. Oh, that works fine. Fucking TRG works like fucking balls as hell. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> if I want to show off fucking Super Asia, I can't do shit all. I may. I'm warning all of you. Now it. What the fuck? Alright. Now it works? Yeah. Whatever. Right. I'll roll with it. It's just how. St <sighs> there we go. It's just how stupid this game is, in this character is in general. I love it. I'm not even, yeah, you know what? It's working. I'm not going to fuck with full screen anything right now. Sorry, you have to watch in this small window. But I'm warning all of you now. As the most experienced fighter around, I'll be waiting there for all of you. Waiting to crush you. I will finally be the ultimate champion. The undefeated of the East, West, South, North, and Center. I will become Super Asia and be champion of all. <laughs> The fucking giant head and the text of Super Asia just fucking makes it for me. <laughs> the fact- just look at this! Fucking beautiful! Falsmeyer, uh, I don't know if he's here right now, he's probably gone to bed considering his time zone, sent me, like, a perfect background of this screen, of Super Asia, and I love it. It's so good. Su <laughs> Super Asia! And he yells this in Dynasty Warrior Gundam, and we've been making fun of it for years, but, like, this clip also in the background just makes it. <laughs> also, the maniacal laughter works pretty good, too, to be fair. Let's go back. To Q&A! Yay! So this is what it's like to be Proton John's YouTube. <laughs> I believe there is a gif of it already. John, which characters you hope they'll announce for Smash 4 during E3? And you know they will. Um, I don't know. All the characters I wanted have either been, like, debunked or added. 
There's rumors that Palutena might be added, Krom might be added, uh, some new Metroid character maybe, or Ridley will be added. Ridley? I know. It, yeah, I thought that was I thought that was like the whole thing. The I think they have a boss. Too. I think they debunked it because of the bosses, but like people are still like adamant that Ridley's gonna be in as a playable character. I don't know. Mm. Puppet Master have a gif of Super Asia already. Why is there one pony video in your suggested? Because it's fucking YouTube, and there's <laughs> pony shit everywhere. You can't search up sure. anything without pony shit coming up. So. We'll do Bomberman anytime soon, John. Um, probably not for a bit. There'll probably only like one more stream before I go away for TRG trip. There might be a, a TRG stream on the channel while I'm gone. We'll find out. Oh Still trying to figure that the logistics out on that one. So he said, "Oh, sorry." No, I was just reading the chat. It's cool. It's because he said Ridley was n never said he was a boss. Yeah, but he, he kind of appeared as they were talking about it. So I just kind of put one on one together. Yeah, the, I, the same thing. I'm pretty sure Ridley's just going to be a boss. Unless they were that was just they're playing like a fake, a fake out, which is entirely possible, but I doubt it. Uh, what was that question I just saw about Fire Emblem? Um, why do you support Krom for Fire Emblem 13's representative? He just, he is, just isn't unique slash interesting enough to warrant his own character. Honestly, I just say Krom because he's a lord. That's why. I I prefer like uh, Kellum or like uh, fuck. I can't remember the villager's name. That's super awesome. It's been a while since I played Awakening. Donald? Yeah, Donald would be an awesome addition too. Favorite moment for TRG Toad's Wid Midway Madness. I don't know. I don't really have a favorite from that. That that specific board. Mm. You would you would prefer Kellum and Donald. I'm sorry. I like I like the goofier characters. <laughs> John, we need a Fire Emblem stream one day. No, because I know that if I stream Fire Emblem, I'll fucking play like garbage. I just know how this works on stream. Let's play as Cass. Yeah, pretty much. John, you're looking forward to Batman Arkham Knight when it comes out in October? I'll definitely get it. I'm interested to see how Rock City handles driving the Batmobile around town. What, you could do that? Oh my god. I haven't heard like, much about that game yet. It's looking like it'll be interesting. I imagine it'll probably be better than the uh, last one, because it wasn't made by them, was it? The last one. It was made by a different studio, wasn't it? Uh, Yeah, that was Warner Brothers Montreal, I believe. Yeah. And yeah, Origins uh, was a weird prequel sidestepping stuff that no one really liked, per se. Uh, I didn't like it. I pretty much never asked TRG questions here, but favorite board of this LP? Uh, oh my god, which one was it that was super hilarious? I, there's one board I remember kind of cracking up laughing at. I don't remember what it is. For all I know, that actually might have been the, uh, the board that's going up now. I don't remember. I'll be honest, a lot of that LP was a haze except for the end results. John, Resident Evil 5 or Mario Golf? Uh, that's a weird <laughs> comparison. Holy shit. <laughs> I can't answer How that. How do you... Yeah, you can't answer that because it's like nice. two different genres. <laughs> It's like, do you do you want to play a nice casual game that you can kind of just play on the go whenever you want, or do you want a football? So it's just out of you can't answer that. I'm sorry. 
Hey, John, have you ever heard of Super Robot Wars? The series has a lot of Gundam characters in it, along with other mech animes. I know of the Super Robot War games. I've played a couple of the original generation games, the ones that at least came out over here. But I have not played the ones that actually include all the licensed characters from, like, Evangelion, Gundam, etc., etc. <laughs> Master Asia or Anastasia? <laughs> That's a tough one, but I'm going to have to say Master Asia. That gif is pretty funny. I'm trying to load it up here now. What the fuck? Asia Dukin! What the fuck? <laughs> That's actually from the show, too, isn't it? That's not a Photoshop. Proton John, when are you going to do the Pokemon X and Y Nuzlocke? That's going to be a ways down the road. I've got no guarantee on when that'll happen. Basically, so here's the thing with streams. Here's what I want to get done for the next couple of streams. I want the ne next stream or two to be sub-night, but I don't think I can fit it in before I go because it'll be short notice, and I've got to get a review done of Child of Light before the 6th. And since it's an RPG, I'm going to be cutting it close. Mm. Uh, the other thing is, yeah, like I leave on the 9th to go to Emil's place for two and a half weeks because we're guesting at Momocon and we're getting a bunch of TRG recordings done, so... I also have to practice the TRG games, so unfortunately... If there's any more streams before we go, it's probably just going to be another fortune cookie night. Unless people don't mind a incredibly short notice, like, sub night, but I'd rather not kind of do that to people because that's kind of dickish in a way to be like... Hey guys, tomorrow is some night. If you just play, can't go. Okay, good. <laughs> so I, I'd rather like be like give people enough of a heads up to be like, all right, cool. I can I can make it for sure. Or, like I don't want to blindside people with it. I guess. Okay. Oh yeah, John. I was discussing this with someone, but what qualifies as an RPG under the no RPG rule? And is it possible to play action RPGs such as Skyrim or Dark Souls on streams with those restrictions? Uh, we had a discussion when Skyrim actually came up during a cookie round, and we dis people basically said Skyrim's a bad idea. Don't put it on cookie. So. Yeah, that's a long intro. Anything that would yeah that would have like a really bad intro also is usually a bad idea. Turn-based land intros. Fortune cookie, Persona 4. You, <laughs> ne you wouldn't get anywhere. <laughs> Pretty much. John, did you know that Slobby says he'll have all of TRG on the Retro Talk podcast? Yeah, if he wants to do it, I'd be down. I, I enjoy being on the podcast and chatting with him. Even if it ends with me saying something stupid that gets me bugged for a couple weeks. John, Slobby from Diabetes are planning on finishing King Quest Seven. If they asked you to come help finish it, would you? I feel like I didn't really bring that much to the the wrong prey I was on, but I mean, if they want me back, I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to say no. Yeah, basically, Skyrim takes up entire Luka Jin streams. Yeah, Luka makes it much more entertaining than I would, because I would just put on stupid mods and break it, but I would just break the game as in it wouldn't load. She's at least gotten past that part. So, yes, she's much better to watch a Skyrim stream from than from me. I wonder if I could find that picture. About 75% of the games John plays has long intros. That's not necessarily wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so, John, have you tried a Sonic Blast Man 2 yet? No, that was probably going to be the next game that came up as a uh, choice... But I, I will probably just play it for fun. I know what Sonic Blast Man 2 is. I watched someone edit the crap out of the video about it. You were there in that stream too, huh? <laughs> yep. John, I was going to ask if you wanted to co-commentate on an LP of Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg, but now is probably not the best time. Would you still be down for it in a few weeks? Don't know if I should ask here. I, like I said, I'm out of the country for two and a half weeks, a week and a half from now, so it would be a month later. So, yeah. If you're still working on it at that point, I mean, maybe, sure. Like, I, I have to get every, I have to make sure I'm not sick from the con and all that shit, and then try to get everything back going. <sighs> all I can say is maybe. I can't say guaranteed yes. Sorry, Tails. <laughs> 